Hello YouTube. Yeah, so I decided to go ahead with these Molly cells. Um, you know, they're they're 2800s. Um, so I'm going to lose a little bit of range, which I'm not that worried about really. Um, but they they are 35 amp. And I don't know, I kind of like I kind of like having that little bit of extra headroom. Um, I was still looking for 30 Qs, but I can't find them and the ones I did find in stock you know, they're like double the price now. And then I looked into the Sony VTC, was it VC6? VTC6, if I'm saying that right. But uh, again, they're, they're almost like nine bucks. I mean, just the batteries alone were like two grand. So these had the price, you know, and, and the performance I'm looking for. I do like the extra amps. I'm thinking to myself, maybe under, under a load like that, they're going to be more efficient. Maybe they'll be a little cooler, you know. So anyways, we're going to get these... Uh, Start getting these these together, this pack together. Um, I did a little bit of practicing with the spot welder. Th this thing's awesome, man. It really is awesome. I put it at uh, 25, um, and I like using this because it's it's, know, it's just nice, man. You just just click it in, uh, no issues. You know, at 25, do if you do end up ripping it apart, it tears holes in the nickel. And leaves, you know, the little bit of nickel on the battery and it doesn't look like overheated or burned or anything. So I think 25 milliseconds is perfect for this thing. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run with that. Um, okay. So I'm putting these stickers on. Uh, just on the positive side, of course. You know, on these batteries, you, you probably know this, but this is positive, and right next to it is negative. Right there, right there on the can. That's how close you are to a fire. So I think putting these on, I think it's definitely worth it. That little, just giving it that little added bit of protection. So I'm using these holders here from Amazon. Um, I was going to use the 3D printed versions, but... The, the 3D printer I have access to, I can only do one at a time. And I'd have to print 40 of these things. And I'm like, <laughs> it just take way too long. I think these are going to be okay. Um, I did notice one thing. I already spot welded some of them together. But, you know, once you once you spot weld the nickel on, you can't get these off. But um, there's a flat edge. So there's a flat edge and an edge where you can interlock them together. You want I think you want to keep the flat edges together because that's going to give you more room on the inside there when you go to solder this uh, copper onto the nickel. Um, just, just something to keep in mind. Yeah, this spot welder, it's great, but it really, it really sucks batteries dry, man. I mean, I can only get through, I can get through three of these top and bottom before the battery's just, just done. And I noticed that, you know, if you wait a little bit in between the welds, it seems to work a little bit, a little bit wetter. Just let it cool down just a little bit. But yeah, we'll get all these tacked on. This thing's it's great. I mean, nice and easy. I like using this uh, this here. You know, I haven't really tried the wands yet, but this thing's working out pretty good. Let's see. If I hit this one and that one. All right, now we'll come back. I'm just doing I'm doing two sets on these on the top. I've been doing three sets on the bottom though. Okay, so I'm soldering on this copper for the series connection. Make sure I got that right. Yeah, we're good there. Come back and touch that up. Okay, so I'll come back and I'm going to hit all these sections here all along the outside, like in between the cells and then in between the cells on the inside. 
I'll come back to you. That's basically it. So you got four plates that make this 5P block. And basically what you're doing is you're just going to make four of these 5P blocks. And that, that's your battery. So you're going to fold this up like this. Let's get that one. Let me, get, uh, let me put, turn it like this. Bend that one. Get this one. <laughs> like I'm really struggling here. And it's a little thin piece of copper. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That one kind of. There we go. That like that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to put two pieces of foam in between here and this one here and then I'll go do the other side and then on these holders what's what's kind of nice is that this the, the copper doesn't protrude through but what I'm doing with it I'm just gonna put a piece of electrical tape on it and then get it the other one too Okay, and then we'll take some of this capped on tape here. And just kind of seal that in there. That right over the electrical tape. That should be good. Let me do the other side real quick. can't really go all the way around. I've got all the tabs you can see for the balance wires on that side. So I'm kind of staying away from wrapping tape all the way around it right now. Okay, I'll flip this around and do the other side. Okay, so now we're basically just going to make a sandwich. <laughs> Let's get some meat. <laughs> we'll put these in between here because the cells sit a little bit lower. That'll even them up a little bit. Okay. Meat. How about some lettuce? Let's put some lettuce on. That's good. Layer of this. Okay. All right, that's good. Now we'll get some more. Uh, have some cheese. That's here like that, like that, like that. Let's get one more over here. And then we'll do a final covering here like that. And that should be plenty of foam. Now we'll get our other piece of bread <laughs> and just slap it right on there like that. Now I'm gonna just gonna tape it all up. What a beast, man! That's a huge battery. What am I at right now? Measurement wise, geez, about seven, ah, about seven and a quarter. Right, gosh, it's a lot bigger than that prototype I made, but should be okay. Okay, so I'm just putting the soldering the balance wires on now. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I was a little bit intimidated at first, but <laughs> it's it's not really a big deal. You just go right down the line. Cell number one is going to be basically the, the ground here for the whole battery, and you just follow it down the line. Um, yeah, I, I changed a couple things. I did end up removing one section of foam out of here because it was just getting too crazy. And then um, I meant to put all of these connections for the balance wires on the same side but on the bottom one on one of these I must have like folded it the opposite way or something because basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say is I didn't want see we have these folds here the copper folds I didn't want a fold against a fold just I don't know just so I could sleep at night <laughs> so they're all opposite of each other so there's no way they could contact but that put the uh, these tabs on the other side on that bottom row for some reason. And like I said, I think maybe I maybe I folded it backwards, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what side they go on. So just wanted to point that out. And I went in and put I just put some duct tape over the over that 
section where that uh, where that fold is as well, just just to be on the safe side. All right, moving on. All right, so I got this far. I'm going to go ahead and solder the two plates here. Then there'll be one in the middle down there. Um, what a beast, man! <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I thought. It's like it's like seven by fourteen inches. I mean, it's kind of it's still going to fit though. That should be fine. But uh, but yeah. All right. Well, the work continues. Okay, so that's done. Uh, then I went ahead and started preparing the BMS. Um, I clipped that end off of there. I'm going to solder all four of these onto the, uh, you know, the ground side, the main ground of the battery first. We're going to solder those on first. And then I went ahead and I put the connector on, the IC connector on, on the front there. Um, this will go to the positive side of the battery directly. And then I have this extra lead here that I'm going to use um, as a remote, you know, I'm going to put another little port in to charge it. So I'm going to use a XT90 on that one uh, for the charger. That way, I'm just thinking that way I don't have to keep, you know, unplugging this, disturbing this all the time. I could just leave it plugged in and then just use the, you know, the, these, this here for the, for the charger. Okay, so yeah, just moving on. I'm just going to probably, I'll just hot glue this on here like that. And then we'll start soldering. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I got this all soldered up and hot glued. Um, we got the connector on there, you know, this one, this one, of course, is going to go into the controller and then I have this other one, <laughs> if I can get it unstuck from there, um, this is going to be for external, it's an XT90 connector, I'm probably going to put it where the keyhole is in the frame, um, because I'm not going to use the key anyway, that'll probably be a perfect spot to just plug in right there and charge it up, and I went ahead and activated the BMS, um, basically you do that by plugging in this little switch harness here it's a little red and black wire and it plugs in right there um and then you just use a battery anything from 3 to 12 volts um i just used an 18650 battery and yes you you can even use fake samsung cells to activate that <laughs> anyway and then the, the bluetooth i went in and hooked it up the bluetooth download the app um it comes in a zip file with a with a manual and then uh Make sure you hook up, make sure you hook up your phone Bluetooth first though. Get that hooked up and then fire up the app and you can go in there and check the settings. I, I took a look at it. It's it's reading all 20 cells and I went ahead and plugged a charger in just to see if that was working. That's it's working fine. So um I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and get this shrink wrapped and then uh I'll do a screen record like charging and showing you some of the settings. Um she said, I don't want to fully charge the thing though. Cause I, you know, Bill, I don't even know if the bike works. So I got I'm probably going to get shrink wrap, put it, put it in the bike and then, uh, and then go from there. All right. I'll be right back to you. Okay. So I got it in and, and what a pain, man, it was. <laughs> I needed every bit of room to get this thing in. I mean, I did, I took the controller out. Um, but anyways, it, it is in, uh, I went ahead and used some shorter standoffs on the controller to bring it back up into the frame a little bit more. Uh, but it, it is, it is in, man. There's, there's just not much room. And that's, I wanted to mention, you know, if you guys do end up doing this, if you use those, you know, those generic, uh, two by six holders instead of the 3D printed ones, I highly suggest you grind off or sand off, Dremel off, whatever you need to do. Those, the sections where it interlocks together to give it a little bit more of a lower profile, um, that'll bring this down, man. You, you can't have it any more than seven inches is like the max to, to, to even get it in here. So, and I didn't do that and I, I probably lost a good, probably half inch or so, you know, or, or actually gained, I might say, a half inch or so. Um, anyway, the bike's, uh, the bike's working. Um, we're all good here. And let me go to a screenshot. I'll show you what's going on with it uh, uh, charging, with the, what the uh, settings look like under the BMS. Okay, so let's fire this up here. Um, yeah, it frequently does that. Disconnects and connects. Not really a big deal. Um, but this is basically all your all your settings. I haven't really messed with this too much. Um, the only thing I changed, I changed the battery cutoff voltage to 84 volts. It already detected the 20S, so that was fine. Um, 
Let's see what else. That's about. I, I really haven't changed anything else. I haven't really haven't really needed to mess with it. Um, and it's charging right now. This is what you see. Uh, it's going through all the cells. You got there's your temp sensors. One and two, 23 degrees Celsius on temp on temp one, 23 on temp two. Um, but all the cells are pretty much pretty much match. I mean, they're, they're very close to each other. And even though it says balance shut down, I still see it balancing them. So maybe that's, I, you know, I, I did, I messed with balance a little bit and it kind of started balancing them. It seemed like it was balancing without the charger. I don't know. It's kind of a weird deal, but you know, from what I can tell here, it's balancing them pretty good. And the current minus 6.8, I have a, one of those adjustable chargers. Um, I have it set on, I think I have it set on 8 amps right now. It's showing 6.8, but uh, that's fine. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. Like I said, I haven't really messed with this too much. Um, let's see what else you see. Run, screen, Just that's just the totals. Um, oh, yeah, I put it for um, 35 amp hours. Um, I wasn't totally sure on that. I know, I know a, uh, a 20S. 12P using Samsung 30Qs is 36 amp hours. So I put it for 35 because I'm using the Molly cells with 20. They're rated a little bit less on the on the uh, MAH. So I set it for 35. I think I'm close. All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, so stay tuned. Going to be doing some testing and speed runs and might even race my son. He's got an Onyx bike. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, thank you. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next video.